David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review and a giveaway. Uh, today I have for you a pen that really surprised me, and that is the brand new release from Narwhal called the Nautilus. Uh, this is the second pen named Nautilus I recently reviewed. Uh, a few weeks back we had the Nautilus from Tactile Turn, but that one was a rollerball. Uh, this Nautilus is a fountain pen and from Narwhal. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the Nautilus, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about the pen. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, provide a writing sample, and let you know how you can enter to make one of these pens your very own, courtesy of Narwhal who provided these pens for review and to give away to one of you. Now, I say that this pen surprised me because when I was contacted by the good folks at Narwhal and they uh, wanted to know if I would care to review their latest offering, which was going to be a pen made from ebonite, uh, I agreed uh, sight unseen. Um, what I expected was something maybe similar to Narwhal's existing models, but made from a different material. What I didn't expect was a completely different pen with a brand new design element and an overall step up in quality and looks that we hadn't seen previously from this burgeoning brand. So let's take a look at a pen. Uh, the Nautilus is available in three different models. There is the Bronze Corydoras, the Cephalopod Black, and then there is the Pegalia Nautica. Now I'm probably butchering that name, but that one is a limited edition of 300. The other two are not limited edition. Um, also, you want to be on the lookout for a couple of retailer exclusive pens as well. I don't believe those retailers have released the info on those models yet, so I'll leave it up to them to break the news on those. But suffice to say, I've seen pictures and they look very nice as well. The pen arrives in this square box, which I believe is new for the company. I hadn't seen this one for them previously. It has their nice Narwhal logo on the top as well as the bottom. And then inside we have the actual box. On the front it says Narwhal Nautilus and has a magnetic closure. Uh, inside there is a little one-page use and care guide. And then we have the pen. Let me get this out of here. This particular one is the Bronze Corydoras. Uh, each of their pens typically have names relating to the sea life or water of some sort. A Corydoras is a small freshwater catfish. And here is the Cephalopod Black that has black trim. Uh, there are a number of sea creatures belonging to the cephalopod family, but the main ones are the squid, octopus, cuttlefish, and nautilus. Um, I think the bronze really shows up a bit better on camera, so let's focus on this one, but I will give you a closer look at the black model later. Um, the pen is made from a European ebonite. It has a traditional cigar shape, and the trim is antiqued bronze. It just feels really solid, and it's a bit heavier than the standard acrylic resin models from Narwhal. Um, from what I can tell, it's just about all of the parts on this pen are brand new, uh, meaning that I don't believe that they've been recycled from previous models. Uh, like, they have used the same clip on a number of other models. Uh, let's start by taking a look at the cap. The top is rounded and inlaid with a piece of that antique bronze. Uh, then we have the clip. Uh, as I mentioned, I believe this is a new clip design for Narwhal. It is rather thin, it's a semi-circle, but I really like the treatment on this bronze. Uh, it gives it a rather unique and weathered look. Uh, the cap is straight, and at the end there is a really nice bronze band. Uh, the band is stamped uh, rather than being engraved, which gives it a really nice look, and includes the narwhal name, as well as a rather cool ocean motif with some waves. It's a nice step up from a traditional rather bland band. There is a medium-sized step down to the barrel, which begins with one of the most distinguishing features on the pen, the three porthole-shaped ink windows. I think these are pretty neat. I like that there are three. Uh, you can't just have one because then light won't be able to really get in there and show you your ink situation. And two might have looked like just someone just poked a hole through the pen. I think three was a good design choice. I've seen other more expensive pens on the market with ink windows somewhat similar which have had a rather sloppy trim work around the edge. Uh, the brass rings uh, in this particular pen fit well in these holes, and I think there's been some attention to detail in the manufacturing of this pen. 
The barrel is straight until you get to a brass band which signifies the beginning of the piston knob, and then the end of the barrel is rounded. The cap twists off in two full rotations, and underneath we have a number six stainless steel nib, which Narwhal makes in-house. I really like the stamping on this nib. I think it's unique and looks really sharp. This nib is available in fine, medium, broad, and double broad. Uh, you'll see in the writing sample, but the nib sizes tend to be a step up from Western sizes. Uh, a fine is more like a Western medium, and I'll show you a broad which writes more like a double or even triple broad. And here's a look at the plastic feed. While I find it performs just fine, with the rest of the pen being made from ebonite, uh, it might have been nice to have an ebonite feed as well. The section begins with a flare and angles up slightly before it reaches the threads, which I don't find to be sharp or uncomfortable if your grip should rest on them. And then a medium sized step up to the barrel. I find the Nautilus to be very well balanced in the hand. Uh, it's long enough to use unposted, which is a good thing because the cap will not fit on the end of the barrel. It's just not designed to post. Uh, and I mentioned it before, but this is a piston filler. The Narwhal Nautilus is available at a number of retailers and sells for $120. I feel that that is a very reasonable price for what you receive with this pen. I believe this is the most expensive model Narwhal has produced, uh, but it is not exorbitant, and the step up in quality is significant. Not that any of their previous offerings were lacking in those regards. Narwhal pens have always provided a good valuation for the price. I'm glad to see the company stepping out of their comfort zone and doing something a little bit different. Uh, overall, I've really enjoyed this model and feel it will do very well for them. Thanks go out to the good folks at Narwhal for providing this pen for review and for giveaway. In regard to the giveaway, I will give you a closer look at it here in a moment during the writing sample, but the model I'll be giving away is the Cephalopod Black. And this one has a very generous broad nib. If you would care to win this very pen, you just need to do a couple of things. Uh, subscribe to the Narwhal Instagram channel. Uh, then you'll need to be a subscriber to this channel. You'll want to throw a like on this video and leave a comment in the notes below. 72 hours after the posting of this review, I will select a comment at random and reply to you with instructions on how you can claim your prize. If you also subscribe to my Instagram feed, which is at figboot11, and leave a comment on my recent post, showing these pens, uh, you will also receive an additional entry into the contest as well. Uh, good luck to all of you. I feel the winner will really enjoy their pen. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. So here we go with some size comparisons for the Narwhal Nautilus. Uh, you know what, to begin with, I wanted to show you this black cephalopod model and kind of show you a little bit of the difference. You can see that all of the trim is black on here with the black portholes as well as the black ring here in the back. Um, then it also has a really nice black nib. So I think overall the uh, theme of both of these work really nice. I kind of like the uh, the antique bronze look of the one model, but then also the cephalopod black looks really sharp as well. So as I mentioned, I think whoever wins this model is going to be happy with it. But in regard to some size comparisons, um, here it is with another a couple of other uh, narwhal pens. That is the Schuylkill Porpita, and then this is the original Schuylkill. And then this is the original piston filler. And in regard to some non-Narwhal pens, here it is with a Lamy All-Star and a Twisby Diamond 580. And then here it is with a Pilot Metropolitan. In regard to some uncapped comparisons, here it is with the Lamy All-Star here it is with the Schuylkill, and here it is with the Twisby Diamond 580. Here we go with the writing sample for the Narwhal Nautilus. 
And this is a fine stainless steel nib. Um, you can see that it writes more like a medium. And the ink that I'm using today is one of my favorite inks that I've had lately, which is Private Reserve. Copper Burst. This is what the ink looks like. It's a really nice copper that has a heavy amount of shading to it. Uh, this is what it looks like in comparison to Diamine Ancient Copper. Uh, and then also here it is with the SBRE Brown, which is a much lighter brown. But still, if you could get a hold of some of the SBRE Brown, it's very nice as well. This is what the bottle looks like. It's a nice 60 milliliter bottle. I really like this wide neck on the bottle so you can get any nib in here whatsoever. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Um, I do find these narwhal nibs to be very pleasant. Um, that they're not super smooth. There is a fair amount of feedback to them, but you can get a little bit of line variation out of here. Um, in regard to ink flow, this is a fine, but it's decent. In regard to some reverse writing, I'd say the ink flow is a little lighter on there, but it gets the job done. And in regard to some fast writing, There's no issue with the feed keeping up at all. I also wanted to show you the broad nib on this cephalopod. And this one is, we'll just say, we'll just do a regular writing sample. You can tell that this broad is very broad. Now you don't get a lot of line variation on this one, but it is a rather, a rather generous broad and the ink flow is decent on there in regard to some reverse writing. It doesn't look like reverse writing is really the thing for this particular nib, but in regard to some fast writing, That was me lifting up just slightly. The feed had no issue in keeping up. So there we have the Narwhal Nautilus. I think that these are a really cool addition to the Narwhal lineup. Uh, and as I mentioned, I, I feel that this is gonna do really well for them. Uh, don't forget to do what you need to do in order to enter to win this cephalopod black. Uh, and I'm sure that whoever wins it is gonna be really happy with it. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.